Cinderella transformed a passive heroine into an active hero. Jungle Book crafted a narrative out of scattered source material. The other ones were movies. Now, Disney's next live-action rehash will update the original by doing the exact same thing, but somehow 30 minutes longer and drained of all of its charm. Whoa. How bleak is that? The Lion King, live action. Except, you know, still animated, but like super realistic. If you know what, forget it. Journey to the Savannah, deep inside the heart of a CGI render farm. For a film that brings animals to life with such uncanny realism, someone should have realized early on that this was a bad choice for a kid's musical, since these ultra-realistic beasts look dull when they sing. It means no worries for the rest of your day. Don't even try to dance, and their animal faces can't, you know, act. He tried to save me. It was an accident. I'm sorry, Nala. I came as soon as I could. Oh, a bird's face cannot look somber. That's crazy. This movie turns you into Brian Fellows. He's starting to make me mad. He better shut up. Experience the story of Simba the Aristocat one last time, or at least until execs raise concerns about Q3 2029 revenue projections. He's an entitled fail son who loves to bully his subordinates. <laughs> but when his dad loses his grip on the royal protection racket, he'll dick around in the jungle for a few years while the women hold everything together, then feed his society's permanent underclass back to the ghetto where they belong. You know, it'd play a lot different if we ever saw a lion rip his dinner's guts out while it screamed for mercy, but then kids might get confused. Witness so much more than celebrities doing a table read of The Lion King while a nature doc plays on mute in the background. They also get to do some light shtick, like James Earl Jones, who for a guy who's almost 90, sounds like a guy who's almost 80. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Billy Eichner's nihilism, that probably stayed in the final cut because every adult is asleep by the time he shows up. It's no life. circle. No. It's a line. Yeah. It's a meaningless line of indifference. Seth Rogen farting. <laughs> And Beyonce Knowles Carter's many glorious Beyonceisms, whether it's one of her motivational Beyoncéings. You are our queen. You have to take your place as king. This is your responsibility. You're not the Simba I remember. If you want to get him, you have to get through us. Are you with me, lions? Or some of her inspirational Beyoncéing. Stand up and fight. The important thing to remember is that these are just observations about Beyonce combined with some light wordplay. They are not, I repeat, not jokes at her expense. I value my family's safety and I'm saying this of my own free will. Oh jeez, they're here. So gather around for another massive Disney cell phone in that all they do is make massive amounts of money off things they already own that started with a near-perfect film but grab critical failure out of the jaws of success. Like, why would you turn be prepared into spoken word? The need for a different dream. He can sing. I can walk in, walk in, walk in. Anyways, gather anyone born after 1994 for another spin on the Hollywood circle of life, where an original story is born. Disney adapts it, makes it into an animated classic, craps out some direct-to-video sequels, remakes it with a bunch of CGI for the next generation, watches butthurt critics decry the state of modern cinema, and laughs all the way to the bank to do it all again. <laughs> yes, Disney, we know you're selling us the same ball of crap over and over until we stop paying for it, but you don't have to rub it in our faces. Starring Sim- Aww, A cat going through puberty. Lord of Roar. Destiny's Wild, 12 Years in a Cave. Let's go, Lions! Let's go! <laughs> Last Beak Tonight. I'm Forrest, Forrest Dump. Well, I'll be a monkey and also an uncle. And avoiding rumors of Timon and Puma being a gay couple by giving one of them a kid. National Geographic presents Beyonce's Lion King. This movie has a huge problem telling day and night apart. The lion sleeps tonight. And if he falls in love tonight. Can you feel the love tonight? It's daytime!